Hey guys, it's Allie from Sewing Machine Fun, and today I want to show you how to thread your sewing and embroidery machine to do a twin needle sewing. So twin needle sewing is really cool because it provides a parallel line of stitches. Um, this is really useful when you're trying to kind of mimic a cover stitch on the bottom of your like shirts. If you look down at your shirt and you're wearing kind of a t-shirt, you'll notice that there is a parallel line of stitches on the bottom in most cases. Um, so that's something that your twin needle can do, and it's a really nice function to have in a sewing machine. So I just went ahead and turned on my sewing machine right here. I'm going to go ahead and just exit out um, to the stitch part. So first thing you're going to do is you need to install your actual twin needle. So I always like to do my needles with this right here locked so I don't accidentally hurt myself. I take off the presser foot and then unscrew this bar right here. And so you'll re remove your single needle and then put in your double needle, so or the twin needle. So the twin needle that comes with your sewing machine looks like this. It's just a, um, a size 211 twin size needle and that has to do with how far apart those stitches are. So you'll wanna just take it out. And here's what that brother twin needle looks like. So when it comes time to install your needle, you'll wanna look at this top part right here. The rounded curve side's going to go towards you and that flat part's going to go towards the back. So go ahead and put that needle in and just stick it right in with that flat side back, put that green part all the way to the top, go ahead and tighten it up, and I like to get a little extra tighten with this just to make sure that it's nice and um, nice and tight. And then you can go ahead and put your presser foot back on. There we go. And then you can go ahead and turn the lock off. So. Now it's time to go ahead and thread your sewing and embroidery machine for twin needle sewing. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and just thread regularly um, your first thread. So here's my thread right here and I'll show y'all this right quick. I ran out of my, I lost my other spool pin so just bear with me as I use a spool, or a spool cap that's not the best size for this. I need to figure out where those went. So make sure you're threading with the presser foot up. Now when you get to this part right here, unfortunately, you cannot use the automatic needle threader because this is a twin needle. And so you will have to thread yourself, which sometimes is not the most fun or easiest thing. But I'm going to go ahead and attempt that right now. And then you'll want to thread your first thread that goes on this regular spool pin on the left needle. And I'm still trying to thread it. Did I get it? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna go and pull that through and then pull it underneath that presser foot. Okay, so thread one is threaded. Now time to put on the, um, the um, second spool pin or second spool pin for the um, second spool of thread. So here's what that looks like for the Brother SE 1900. It's gonna split apart like this and then you're gonna place it on top of this bobbin um, pin right here. So it's gonna go towards you and then just right on top I don't know if y'all saw that. Here we go, let's do it one more time. Just like that, so super easy. Go ahead and set it in place. And now you're gonna put your second spool of thread here. And I'm using two different colors so y'all can kind of keep track of which is which. Okay, there we go. And then you'll thread this one the exact same way. And you'll put it through that same needle clamp guide. Okay. Now the second spool of thread you are going to put on the right side of the needle. And again, you can't use your automatic needle threader. Or you shouldn't use your automatic needle threader. I guess you could get lucky if you have just the right position of one of the needles, but it's not gonna thread both needles. So when you're done, go ahead and put that thread underneath and below the presser foot. And so now everything's threaded, we can go ahead and pick which um, stitch we wanna do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how you can do, actually let me go, let's do settings first. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is to go to settings. So that's this little um, kind of like paper icon right here with a bullet list. So you'll click settings, and the first thing that should come up is your twin needle on the bottom here. Go ahead and click on, and then go to okay. So now you're back with your stitches, Here's just a straight stitch right here. Let me go ahead and show you how that stitches with this twin needle. 
So go ahead and put your presser foot down and then just press start. Look at that beautiful twin needle. The left is the red, the right is the white. I need to play with my tension a little bit there. Um, so that's the straight. You can also do zigzag. There's a few other options of what you can do. And I'll show you what happens if you pick a stitch that you're not allowed to do. And then there's my parallel zigzag stitches right there. Now, let's see, let's go ahead and pick an overcasting stitch. So an overcasting stitch is not going to work with the twin needle. That just gets way too complicated with that twin needle. The function cannot be used while the machine is in twin needle mode. Um, you can obviously sew single needle, but you can't sew twin needle with this. So other things to note when you're sewing with a twin needle is pay attention that you're using the right presser foot. So this is my J presser foot right here that it's suggesting with a straight stitch. That's my regular um, all purpose um, presser foot. It has that nice wide base at the bottom. That way I don't hit and break a needle. If you're using like a straight stitch foot or something that doesn't have such a wide space, you could be breaking a needle when you're doing twin needle sewing. So you just wanna make sure you're you know not doing that and you are picking both a compatible stitch and a compatible presser foot right here. And the really cool thing about these sewing and embroidery machines is luckily um, they really are kind of what I call dummy proof because it saves you from a lot of errors that you would make on a mechanical sewing machine by, you know, they don't show you the right stitch length and width, which stitches are compatible, which presser feet to use. So really these, you know, computerized sewing and embroidery machines are very cool and allowing you to do that. So that's how to set up twin needle sewing. The main thing you need to remember is this bottom thread goes to the left, this thread goes to the right, and then just make sure to choose twin needle under the settings right here. And then, you know, you should be sewing well.